Have you made more than $10 million in your career? Are you jealous of my hair? There was some deception there. Do you like Andrea Botez? Do you think my book is good? Jesus, oh my God. How's that for honesty? Do you pee in the shower? Uh, have you ever felt jealous that I'm more famous than you? Do you currently feel like you're being held against your will? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> don't do this, don't, don't try this at home. We are here in a mysterious setting. Go ahead, sir, with a mysterious man. Tell me, sir, what is your name? David Robbins hey. is my name. How does one become a lie detector man? Person? I was with the police when I was sent for training at the Canadian Police College. I was on one of the first polygraph courses that they had there. Wow. When I retired, I started doing it privately. Wow, I would assume you've done more important things than a lie detector test while people play chess? Done tests on murders, sexual assaults, robberies. So slightly more important than chess, just barely. Oh, no, yeah. no, this is really important. <laughs> okay. Well, Levy, um, I'm going under the, under the detector first. Yeah. And I'm nervous. I'm nervous too. I, can, I feel like I'm already gonna set it off. I've always wanted to do one of these. One, because I wanted to see if I could trick it for myself, just no. And two, I don't know, because I'm a little bit of a masochist who enjoys, ooh, it's already moving. It's moving when I do things, man. So, what kind of questions are you gonna ask me? That's the question. Some personal, some about me, some about Magnus, some about Hikaru, mm. some about Hans Niep, no. Mm. Uh, <laughs> I will address the uh, that, that currently there is a documentary being made. I am not allowed to say with who or when it's coming out but we will not be getting into questions about Hans Niemann because of that. So for all of you fans who are now freaking out about that, that is the only reason we're not getting into those questions. You've already seen us address things pretty clearly. That's so, a lie, it's a lie, it's a lie. Let's, no. <laughs> if I take a deep breath, does that make it look like I'm lying? No. Because I'm definitely a, a deep breather when I have anxiety. I think me too. Oh, let's turn it into a therapy session. Then I do. By the way, we're also gonna play chess with 10 minutes on the clock. Uh, maybe we should, oh, you can't move that hand, so we'll, we'll shake hands, it'll be a little- Shake hands, sir. Yeah, I'm gonna start your clock, because I'm black. I feel like we've had a lot of games, Danny. I'll play, yeah. I'll play D4. Okay. That and um, my question is, is yeah. your full name Daniel Wrench? My full name is Daniel Michael Wrench. It was changed when I was a kid. It was Daniel Joseph, Corden, Sampson, a lot of divorces. I'm giving you way too much information. Is he lying? <laughs> no, that was a lie when he said too much information. That's true, because there's a lot more to it than that. Oh, That's wow. not even the beginning of the information. Wow, <laughs> I okay. Love that. Are you about to take a lie detector test? I am. I'm gonna run out of time. I'm like having... I was I was willing for that. Was that. When I said I am, that was true. It was true, but shows you're a little bit nervous about it. Yeah, I am nervous. Oh wow, okay. Let's just get um, right into it, Danny. Um, do you think my book is good? I haven't read your book. Damn, you should have just said yes. <laughs> that well, true? we definitely know that's true. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay, okay. Hey, the book just came out. You gotta give me some time. You're also too strong for the book. Okay, thank you. Um, speaking of strength, do you think you're better at chess than me? I do think I'm better at chess than you. Damn. It's a little bit of activity there. <laughs> <laughs> this is so good. I, it's funny, because I feel like I need to be honest. Like I feel like I had to say yes to that. I actually don't know that I'm better than I, you. You know, we're know. chess players. We gotta, we're chess players. I think that was probably more honest answer. Like I actually don't know. Do you pee in the shower? <laughs> I pee in the shower often. I. I think people are demented if they don't. I mean, you've, at least once in your life. You save water. 
I don't know about all that, but are you just there? It's all water. There, you know? It's I, warm on your skin. You get? Do, do people get out and pee in the toilet and get back in the shower? That just seems like. Is, a is anybody out there doing that? Does anybody shower? Do I like, pee in the period? shower? I don't. Obviously. Okay. I I'm just checking. I don't know what's going on. All right. I, I'm fascinated by the whole thing. Are you jealous of my hair? <laughs> I'm jealous of everyone's hair because my hair is receding. I'm holding. Yeah, but look at this shit. You're really jealous of. I mean, that's wow. Okay. Have you ever liked your own social media posts with Chess.com's official account? Yes. Wow. I have. Well, that, was, that was fast. That was... I, I think it's part of business. I would say this, I also do it way less often than I'm accused of. Ah, like, okay. Like, people think I run the social media. Like, I don't, I don't run Chess.com social media. No problem. It's all true, right? Yes, sir. Take that, haters. Have you ever rooted against Magnus in a world championship match? I don't think so. I think I've always rooted for him. Even against Fabiano? I'm, I'm, that's interesting if I'm telling the truth on that. I think, I, I think I'm always rooting for Magnus, actually. And I can tell you why, because I think, I think Magnus is good for the game. Even when Magnus was playing Fabiano, who was an American, I think I was probably in my deepest of hearts rooting for the biggest star. Okay. And I think I was probably, I love Fabi. I love Fabi. Fabi's a friend, but I think objectively, I felt like Magnus was still the most important figure in the game. And this is even when he was at a separate, apparently competing rival company, right? So I've always rooted for Magnus. Yes, pretty much. Um, when you first were asked, have you always rooted for him? You, there was some deception there, but you explained that later. Would you let your children pursue a career as professional chess players if they were interested? Yes, I would. Looks good. All right. Sure. Do you think you're the best chess commentator on staff? Wow. I, I would say yes. There's no deception there. Confidence is I think. I think it's funny because I, I legitimately think that everybody is so good. I think Robert Hess is phenomenal. I think you're amazing. I think Don is amazing. I don't get to do commentary as much as I... It's almost like ranking your kids, right? But I, I, do think I, I do think I'm pretty good at it. If you're the best, do you think I'm the second best <laughs> chess commentator in the game? I actually don't. I don't think you're the second best. I also don't think I'm the second best. Yeah. Maybe recaps, but live? You are. Live, I, I don't you think You are so. the most entertaining creator in the game, by far. I actually agree, I'm not offended by that. I always say I'm, I say the same thing. I, I was about to move the rook with my right hand and I realized I can't do that, <coughs> so. Uh, have you ever felt jealous that I'm more famous than you? I have. Jesus, yeah. oh my God, <laughs> that was uh... I feel super proud of you, honestly. I feel like I've had a, a hand in helping you as much as, and I think you've, I think you've, with your success, you've always been super gracious and humble and thankful. But I'll be honest, like there was a, there was a crossroads in my career where I consciously chose to take a back seat to help what do you want to call it, platform, position, spotlight others. And as some of them have become very successful, there's a part of me that has been jealous. And it's it's stung a little bit because I I also love, you know me, I love content, I love creating, and I think I'm pretty good at it. And I think I have a vision for it, but I also feel, now I'm gonna get emotional. I feel super proud, and but I have been jealous at times. How's that for honesty? That's good. Well, I will say I have a, Wow, this is like a real therapy session. Uh, I, was gonna say, real. I, uh, I, I, I have uh, nothing but respect and uh, admiration. And I, I definitely feel like in the chess content game, I stand on shoulders of giants like you and Robert doing speed chess, whatever the hell it was called, speed chess challenge in 2017. <laughs> Back in the day. Yeah, that was, uh, that was wild. I don't feel that way about, about everybody, but we've had conversations about yeah. all of this. Would you feel comfortable leaving me in your house alone? Yeah. I would. I wouldn't steal anything. Yeah, Probably, I, I don't know. I've never been tempted, but who knows? It was a, that question made me a little nervous because I, I definitely get nervous with my, my wife and I are not big on people watching our kids who we don't know. Like, so it actually makes it so we travel less and enjoy our life less because we just don't hire babysitters, so it works from family. Well, this would be, I'd be by myself. You guys would be on vacation. I'll house it. Okay, oh, I would, I, would, I would totally be good with that. Hell, man, you could go full Macaulay Culkin in my house. 
How did I just give up A7 and not even think that that was a bad idea? I think the thing affects our chest. I mean, I'm, that's I, as soon as you start hitting me with the really, really O's, the really, really <laughs> O's, my, my chest went. Um, Sorry, I'm not trying to spike it. Moving over my right hand here. I'm supposed to keep my right hand still. Have for you those. ever shoplifted <sighs> as a child? I have. I okay. stole. I stole from a store actually for many months, a particular store. Eventually got caught, oh. which was great. It was actually a really good thing. I think you need to do all the stupid stuff. And I think everybody has to do stupid stuff in life. Otherwise, I mean, maybe some people are angels, but you uh, you got to do a lot of dumb stuff and then you got to grow out of it. That's what I believe. You got to get it all out early. The later it goes, the harsher the consequences. So have you ever thought in the last few years that this was it and chess popularity has peaked? Honestly, like I might be the 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 blind whatever, just like hopeless dreamer, but the answer is no. No. Like I've always thought that we have more to go. I've had fears of being wrong. And and as the stakes have gotten higher with our company and, and we've grown and we've, oh my God, I get anxiety thinking we have more, almost 800 people now. Like, you know, there's a lot. I definitely feel heavier and I feel the weight of what we've done to deliver on those promises probably more than I ever have and I don't know that that's great for my health and stress at times that's the truth but I have never doubted what chess was going to become and uh, I've been lucky to be right about some things that other people thought I was wrong about and I hope it continues so we'll see is cheating on chess.com worse or better than the public thinks I think it's better than the public thinks no deception do you secretly wish you were a grandmaster are you unsatisfied being an I am I am I wish I was a grandmaster. I do. Who doesn't? You work super hard for something, you know? Uh, and everyone has their story of how they didn't get the lucky break or this or that, you know? And obviously I'm very grateful for my life. But yeah, I, of course I wish I was a GM. Who doesn't? You and I should start like an honesty podcast? chess podcast. Let's do a podcast. I feel like I am's Danny and Levy. That would actually be probably, that would probably be pretty popular actually now that we're here. Have you ever pretended to understand a conversation about chess just to fit in? Yes, with, for sure. With, with which players? I've done it at times where like I also like didn't quite hear what was being discussed, and so then I tried to like jump in. I've uh, I've done it when yeah I wanted to just pretend like I understood the idea. Just like when you're around super GMs, I think for the most part like fully capable and follow everything. But I think at times you know you're like oh or like you feel like it'd be socially awkward to make them slow down for you <laughs> so uh, you, yeah so you don't yeah make them slow down for you have you ever worn sunglasses inside to look cool yes <laughs> what a dork he is he's a dork that's who i am that's who i am um is that true oh he's telling the truth <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's the, 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 truth. the most confident answer so about, far. About both uh, doing it and being a dork. Is Magnus Carlsen the coolest world champion we've ever had? It's not even close. He's the coolest world champion we've ever had. I love Ding Lee Ren, by the way. I'm so stable, this is just pure honesty. I mean, I'm, I, 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 didn't, I didn't come here to lie. Oh, I, I kind of well, want. Now we're having a problem. Oh, okay, I said <laughs> I don't want to come here to lie. There we go, it's the accent, it's the whole, I love that, I love that, okay. This isn't good for me, right? I don't think so. It's a bit of a Sheboygan move there. Sheboygan with the things on my fingers. You're gonna see, man, this is hard. Oh, I, I'm, I'm, yeah, I, I imagine. Wait, I, can I catch you? I'm in the box. I'm in the box. Oh, I'm not in the box because <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> okay, I resign. I resign. We can fizz on with that. There Good we game. go. That was fun. Let's switch oh, colors yeah. and put Levy under under the microscope. Don't do this. Don't don't try this at home. I'm excited, eh? We're gonna grill him. We're gonna grill him, love. Are you about to take a lie detector test? Yes. Are both okay. of those things true? Good luck, Danny. Yes. Okay. Game on. I guess, I guess he would have to say yes, otherwise that would be. <sighs> Game on. Do you think you're a better chess player than me? Oh, we're starting. We're starting. Oh wow, you're just throwing it right back to me. Yes. Unequivocally. I think I'm a better chess player than a lot of people who I'm not higher rated than. I'm seeing a lot of increase in blood pressure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm staring over there to see the answer. Okay. Does that mean... This is good. Does that mean... I mean, there's a little deception indicated. Oh, wow. I don't even know I'm lying. Okay. I, think you're, I think you're trying to pump up yourself, maybe. Oh, I'm not trying yeah. to do anything. Yeah. I'm probably just... This thing just probably scaring me. Yeah. 
Would you rather be competing in events than covering them? No. You love covering them. Yeah. Yeah. It's truthful. Have you ever considered quitting your, your chess creator career to pursue another career? Maybe, but not anytime soon. But you have thought about it? Yeah, of course. Truthful. Have you ever pretended to know a celebrity even though you've never actually met them? I don't think, no, I don't think so. Why, why would I ever do that? I don't know, just asking. Don't see anything there. Okay. Okay. That's good enough. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. There you go. I love it. Are you afraid to chess box? Yes. Yes. Depends on the. Yes. Do you like Andrea Botez? Yes. Kind. A little bit. <laughs> As a, I mean, you know, just. It's not terrible. What, what, is he lying on that? Well, not when he says he's not terrible. <laughs> <laughs> It's so good. It's not terrible. I should, you know, it okay. could be worse people. Do you ever get your feelings hurt by YouTube comments? Never. Truthful on that. Do you get ever get your feelings hurt by any social media comments toward you? No, not really. Have you made more than $10 million in your career? I don't think so. No. That's a truthful response. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. This thing can't get me. I'm just so zen. I just love chess so much. Were, I'm just. Were you nervous meeting Magnus? No, absolutely not. I think he was. I think he was. <laughs> I knew he was too. I knew he was. I'm okay, like, but I, you know, I feel like that that one I like publicly stated I was nervous. You know, I okay. feel like today was better though. The second day I, I I relaxed a bit. Danny, when I had to ask Magnus a question and I, I had them in my ear like Levy's got the next question and he was answering his question, nervous, yeah. my heart has never pounded. That <laughs> I don't know why. I was like, damn, that's like Magnus. I've it's all the top players. You know, I, I will admit, like we've I've gotten to a place. I I'm not on <clears> there, but we'll assume I'm being truthful. Like where that doesn't happen to me anymore, but. I think I've done more Magnus interviews at this point than like anybody, but yeah. I'll say it took a long time. He's mm -hmm. an intimidating interview and he's the GOAT. Do you think your YouTube content is too clickbaity? Yes. No deception there. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> Twitter trolls win, I guess. <laughs> yeah, the ones that hurt my feelings or didn't. I don't know if that question will make okay. it, so. Do you think you'd beat me in chess boxing? With the right preparation, yes. What we got over there, boss? He's got a problem there. You got a problem? <laughs> okay, good. okay, I love that, okay. <laughs> I love how you answer the question. Yeah, too. I did not think so I could. Good, so good, so good. Literally right. would not, no, All right. no, no. no. Um, Small problem or big problem? I guess, big. no, big. <laughs> yeah, I did not. Do, I did do, not. You, do you like your own YouTube videos? Like, do I physically click like on them? Yeah. In the beginning, actually, you know, like I go back two years and sometimes I did like one yeah. of my own videos, but, yeah, but sure not, no, not anymore, not anymore. Okay. No. Do you think I'm funny? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Why not? Uh, deception there. That's, uh. that's bull, that, no, no way. I think, maybe I got nervous looking at you. Okay, okay. I think you're do, funny. Do you, do you think I'm the best chess commentator at chess.com? No. No? I think it's Robert Hess. I don't see any deception there. Yeah. That doesn't mean you're not the second best, right, but I, I always I, say it's I, Robert I, Hess. I love the honesty. We have a great honest conversation. I'm not a but yeah. Do you think you're the most influential chess creator in the world? Well, that's an easy yes. The better question is, am I the most influential figure in chess ever? And I don't think so. I mean, I think it's probably Magnus, or if you just look at numbers, maybe Anand. When he said um, about himself, there's quite a reaction there. Oh, maybe I do, deep down. Meaning I, meaning it says I'm lying and I actually do think I'm yeah. the yeah. most influential? Maybe, maybe. Oh, maybe therapy can unlock that. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever used a, a slang or a trendy phrase you didn't really understand just to make your content sound cooler? No, what, Riz? I don't, I don't think so, no. I mean, if I did, then I really need to unpack lies to myself in therapy. <laughs> There's no, no deception. Okay, thank uh, The answer to me would have been, yes, I have. You oh, know no, that. I have. Well, you, you're a dad also. Like, I'm a dad, I gotta stay hard. I'm I got a few more years and then I'm, yeah. then I'm cooked. Yep. There you go, slang right there, cooked. 
Have you ever used your chess skills to flirt with anyone? Maybe my wife. I don't know. I, I, not to my memory, but <laughs> this thing is about to tell me I did, so. <laughs> <laughs> he did, didn't he? He did, come on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love it. I, okay. Yeah, I, I, I used to hide that I was a chess player, so who knows? Yeah, I'm going to just say it was. Have you ever wanted to ban another chess creator from your Twitch chat? Maybe? Hikaru? No. <laughs> the Botez, maybe the Botezes. I don't know, actually. Uh, I don't think I have. But again, I'm at the mercy of this device, so. Uh, there is some deception indicated there. Just a little bit, though, right? Bit. Yeah, I, I guess. Yeah. Maybe I, maybe I have had that, fair. though. Are you satisfied not being a GM? It is a coping mechanism for me to tell myself that I will be a Grandmaster one day, but uh, I am definitely not satisfied not being a GM. It hurts. It's truthful. Are you in any group chats with Hikaru Nakamura? Not that I know of. <laughs> what? No. Do you currently feel like you're being held against your will? Here? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Would never volunteer for this. Uh, Is that truthful? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Did you ever shoplift as a kid? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Yu-Gi-Oh cards? Yeah, from Blockbuster. And one time, I stole display bottle of cologne that was like 75% finished because my parents wouldn't buy me any of the cool brands like Aeropostale or Abercrombie. Do you like online chess more than over the board? That's a good question, actually. I don't know what it's going to pop up. I think I like online competition more because I don't like to travel. I think I get very stressed over the board, but social stuff, like social settings, uh, I, I, I mean, there's nothing, nothing really beats this. Hanging out with friends, drinking, I almost played Queen F4. <laughs> that would have been really bad. Have you spent too much money on clothes? <laughs> uh, my wife would say yes. I would disagree, but I don't spend much money. I like to invest things, but the, I think my biggest expense is probably clothes. Like this sweater. Maybe of all the things my family did not do right raising me, they taught me how to budget money. Is that too deep for this video? Are you gonna write a second book? Yes. No plans to yet, but I'd like to. Do you ever get jealous of me? I don't get jealous of anybody, actually. Little problem there. Little problem? Really? Huh. Probably get jealous a little bit. A little bit? Of someone, about something. You know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, can you play Rick Takes Pawn? I'm gonna amend that and say, I've definitely gotten jealous, but I don't think I'm jealous of people. I think I'm jealous of, like, well, if, if I find someone in a cool collab or situation, I go, what the hell? How'd that happen? Yeah. So, I've definitely so felt you, you the emotion. Get, you get FOMO about opportunities. Like, you get, yeah. you, get you get jealous about opportunities yeah. and cool things that you want to yeah. be a part of. Yeah, and that's why it's not happening for me. Because I guess I think right. I deserve it. Right. So, yeah. Not jealous of people, but you want to be appreciated for opportunities. You don't want to be left out. I think the people that I work with, I don't have a dedicated team. So my whole career as a content creator, I feel like I have not been prioritized as a client. And it has prevented me from getting very cool things. So I'm trying to control it more. Are you happy the cheating scandal happened? Yes. Is that true? Yeah. yeah. Views. I was very careful in the beginning of the cheating scandal because in the back of my mind, I thought, what if Hans sues everybody? Mm. <laughs> Which is why I did not. You know, I let it sit a little you didn't bit. Give that tip to me and Hikaru. <laughs> I, well, okay. Hikaru started real fast. He yeah. was, you know. Play like Rook B4 and then we can agree to a draw. Yeah, yeah. I was just about to offer you a draw. Oh, well, yeah. Uh, a mercy draw because I'm not going to flag a man who only has 10 seconds in his strap. Ask me one final question. Draw agreed. Are you happy that you won our match? Yeah, but I think you lost on purpose in the first game. The world will never know. I feel like you could have defended much more tenaciously, but I think you 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 gave it to me a little bit. But we do that sometimes, like we for content. Sometimes. We're like, we do. It's, it's subconscious. It's actually funny because while we were playing the game, I was about to say something like, "If you asked me 
whether I want to win more or see you win. Actually, I was gonna say I'd rather you win. I actually think it's better for content. And I was purposely a little bit. It's I, I was thinking about that. I, I do that all the time. I've shot yeah. on uh, like for Wired before. They make me play people, and, yeah. and I can't. I can't get into it. All of a yeah. sudden, I'm losing. So you're yeah, even against in Chili Chess with James. Like I don't know where I'm just completely lost, and yeah. I'm fine with it for content. But yeah. it's, uh, it's I'm like, damn, I kind of want to win. Wish I had that killer instinct. But that's funny. Oh. I, I don't. I don't anymore. But this has been great. Yeah. Let's let's go. Let's go get a drink, me and you. How about that? Yeah. Am I still connected? Can I say one last thing? Sure. I really hope this is true because I, I do mean it. I think of everybody in the chess world, I look up to you the most. Wow. That's pretty straightforward. That means a lot to me. Yeah. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. Yeah.